Hello friends, welcome to TechEJ YouTube channel. Friends, in today's video we are going to see how we can easily host uh, a static website by using Amazon Simple Storage Service or we can also say Amazon S3. And in this video we are also see how we can simply connect with our custom domain by using Amazon Root 53. So uh, let's start our video. So first of all we have to log in into our AWS console. So here we have to enter your password id but I am already logged in. So here we have to search for S3. So here, now here we create a new bucket and here you have to give the exact name, domain name with www dot or we can simply skip also www dot but here I am entering here www dot takepj dot in so let's uh, in Asia Pacific Mumbai AP South one so here we can choose our region so this is this region is best for me so here we have to disable this and here we have to click on I acknowledge that and uh, you can also enable or disable bucket versioning so here I am simply clicking on create bucket. Now our bucket www.takej.in is created. So now we have to upload files here. Or first of all we go here in properties. Here we have to enable static website hosting so here click on enable and uh, here enter index.html yeah. and for either.html we can simply this is optional so we can skip it so click on save changes now uh, we have to upload some files so just go here sorry I think <laughs> buckets so here click on upload here or here so now we can add folder or we can add file so here I am clicking add folder now I am choosing my one page corporate template master click on upload Now this is my 5 MB, uh, this folder size is 5 MB, so we have to click on upload. Now this is uploading, depending on your uh, website uh, file size, it can take uh, time. Now my uh, uploading is uh, just completed. So. Uh, here it gave a bump of uh, upload success so click on close and uh, here we have to enter here and we have to move this file into our main bucket so here we can go on action and click on move and uh, here we have to browse as the destination so here we want to move here so click H E T J choose destination and click on move so our move is completed now we have to change our bucket policy so that it is accessible so we have to go back from here now click on 
this uh, and go to here for permissions now you have to add a bucket policy so click on edit and now click on here and we can simply search here on google s3 policy for static website so here we can directly go on to this link and then simply we can copy this policy from here and paste here and edit the bucket name so in my case uh, bucket name is www.tkj.in you can simply enter your bucket name ok so now click on save changes so now our website is publicly accessible so click on properties and uh, i think uh, we have to copy this bucket website in point so we can copy it and now paste here so now my uh, website is loading so we simply successfully hosted our static website on S3 so now we can share this link to anyone to access our website but here we want to add our custom domain name so what we have to do so we have to just uh, go on to our here sign into console now search for here for route 53 so this is not a free service route 53 charges are per hosted zone so if you create a hosted zone then it is not free so i have already one create i created hosted zone for uh, my website so let's create a new hosted zone ok so here click on hosted zones now create click on create hosted zone now here we have to enter our domain name so our domain name is take ej dot in here skip www dot ok now we can simply click on create hosted zone so this is public hosted zone so make sure this is clicked on public hosted zone so here our hosted zone is successfully created now we have to create a record click on create record we can simply enter www here and here we can choose uh, here we enable first of all we have to enable alias now we can choose endpoint 
so we have to change alias to s3 website endpoint and that's it here please make sure simple routing is enabled here we have to choose simple weighted geolocation latency failover and many more options so here we are going with simple routing so here we have to choose region so our is uh, asia pacific ap southeast one ap southeast mumbai oh, yes my uh, uh, s3 bucket is created in asia pacific mumbai so please uh, make sure you choose the right region now here we have to enter our s3 website in point so this is the website in point now we have to click on create records now our record is successfully created now just we have to copy this values let's click on control c now we have to copy all these four to our uh, domain registrar so my domain registrar is godaddy so let's login into our godaddy so click on godaddy login click on sign in so in my case my domain provider is godaddy my domain is registered with godaddy so here uh my hosting page is directly opened so go on to your my product section and then here choose your domain name so here my domain name is techkj.in so click on three dots click on manage dns now we have to edit simply edit this click on change and we can now able to edit but uh, here i am not uh, changing because my web, uh, my website is already hosted with uh, uh, azure cloud so here click, we can simply enter so click on enter my own name server so you can just paste your like here i am pasting in this manner you can paste it your all the dns records here let copy second one control c and here click and remove the dot from last so here uh, name server 3 you can just copy here copy from here control c and paste here and you can similarly we can you can also copy the last ns record ns record is no also known as name server record so here this is my last one so here we have to click on save i am not clicking on save because uh, of my this Uh, I already uh, hosted uh, my website uh, with Azure Cloud. So here, I clicking on cancel button. You can simply save it. So that's all for this video. I hope I am able to clarify all the uh, process of hosting your static website on Amazon S3 and uh, attaching. with it with your custom domain thanks for watching this video okay